Hello! There's a bit of an unusual start to this one. I was doing some off-camera work that kind of turned into on-camera work. And so the very beginning of this video is going to be silent for a little bit. Um, I'll probably try to remember a place that you can skip ahead to where the commentary actually begins. Um, but go ahead and enjoy. This one will be very interesting. Hey! Alright. Hello! It is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Void Stranger. I decided I would just play this on my own for a bit until I figured it out, and I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this, but I figured it out. <laughs> um, and I actually got it on like my second or third try after retrying, after having rewatched what I did last time. So. Here we are. We have defeated Mon, I guess? And presumably I either need to talk to this or hit it with my sword or something. My eyes. My brilliant eyes. Blame your fate. Now, if you wish for a quick, merciful end, speak. Yes, I want to understand what's going on. What are you and Lev after? So you finally figured it out? She Do with me as you please, but know this. The true lord of void will one day return. And those who oppose them will come to regret their very existence. Forgive me, dear sister. I have failed you. Okay. <laughs> we actually did not learn a whole lot there, but we did get to an exit. And where is this going to take me now? I have no idea. Um, so it seems Mon and Lev were scheming. And... I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, there's a rock I can talk to. Do I have my wings active right now? I do. Um, and it seems like I could dive further or possibly like exit back out into the world. I would like to continue diving further. Um, and I'm pretty sure talking to the rock doesn't uh, interact with my wings. So let's do this. Someone is waiting for you. Interesting. That's what Gray said to herself when she was looking for Lily. Don't worry. They're okay. Don't ask how I know. Interesting. Someone is waiting for you. Okay, let's continue down here. Oh, and we are on a beach. And it's B. And B is rocking us back and forth because we've just woken up on the beach. <laughs> what? Or vice versa? Was that B waking up on the beach and Sif woke them up? I think it was the latter, actually. Uh, their sprites were a little hard to tell apart, but that was definitely B's wa and B is on the left. Sis? Is that you? Hi. Sis. <laughs> She's crying and Sif has whipped out an umbrella so that the tears don't rain down upon her, them, Sif. <laughs> I was so afraid. Get a hold of yourself. You don't understand. I saw Lord Ad. Okay, so that suggests that it was Lord Ad with the singular giant eye at the end that pounded B out of existence. And it's not what I expected Ad to look like, but it did seem all powerful. And it was one of two speculations that I had back in that scene. I'm presuming this is what B is referring to. After all these years. But then they... That's not possible. Ad is dead. Interesting. Sif thinks Ad is dead. No. No. This must be a trick. That mortal. It must have been their work. And I think she's referring to Lily here. Because B definitely thought Lily was an imposter. Uh, or someone who wasn't invited. B. I'll find them. Then I'll crush them. Mangle them. And Sif gives her a hug. Sif gives them a hug. I'm so glad you're okay. Never scare me like that ever again. You hear me? I... Is everything all right, sis? Yeah. I'm fine now. You sure? Then what happened to your hair? Right. B has just been witnessing Sif as the prosecutor in disguise, who had bangs covering the other two uh, horns. You don't like it? Quite the opposite. It fits your fat horns perfectly. Ah, B's back to her old self. <laughs> you donkey. Hey, how did you manage to find me anyway? That's a long story. Maybe some other time. I could use some rest now. You and me both. Roll credits. That's what I was afraid of. 
this felt almost like a good ending, and it's almost like I skipped past a lot of other Sif content to get here, but let's let's see what happens. I do have a save where I could back up to to do a variety of other things. <laughs> Alright, we get this one again. Game by these two people. Who made the music in addition to the game, by the way, and the music is also great. And I guess that's B dancing? That's my guess. And that is Sif dancing. And that is the two of them with their heads just showing, otherwise off screen, so we could fit in all the playtesters and various other credits. All right. They are fantastic dancers. So Sif found B. That was kind of the goal stated at the beginning of the act. Finn, sure. Uh, there is still much unresolved, <laughs> and I plan to resolve it. But it looks like I might need to press a key, and perhaps the key that otherwise would. Yeah, till next time, end this act. And perhaps the game? I, I'm not sure. Let's see what happens when I press this. Upon restarting the game, I get this. I'm not sure what we just saw up at the top, but then it appears to be B and Sif on the beach at sunset, moonset, whatever that was that scrolled off the top that I didn't get a good look at. And we have the opening title music. I'll give it a few seconds before I try to press a button. And where are we? Where were they? There are so many unanswered questions. Let's press a button. Oh, I can choose my language. OK. Would you like to change your settings before starting your journey? The settings are fine. But this is a different opening title screen, so I will say no. I don't need to change them. Are you ready? I do believe I am. Lily, special brand revealed. Okay, there apparently is Lily's brand. And all I can imagine is now we have the option to like start as like Gray or Lily or Sif or something, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and there's Sif, okay. So there's Sif as well. So presumably any brand that I don't start with one of those two would start as Grey, or will start as some new character that I don't even know is also a possibility. And it kind of remembers these for me off to the side, as I recall. Yeah, draw it twice before your own brand to activate. Use them wisely, yes. Uh, and there might have been more brands that I want to try. Um, but yeah, it shows me the brands that I already know, and goodness, there's room for at least three more, potentially. Um, how do I wish to do this? <sighs> Some of the brand stuff... Honestly, I'm going to just fill out the whole thing. Because in either Gray or Lily's case, I forget, there was a place where I could get to the end and witness uh, letter engravings on a mural. And so I want to have all of the letters available. So I'm going to fill out the whole brand, and I'm not going to select any of those, and I'm going to see what player we end up being. 
Who are we now? There were six things in like a hexagon there, and I've played three different characters, so maybe there's three more playable characters? I really don't know. Or maybe those were the only three playable characters, and we're about to restart as Grey. In any case, it appears that I've made some meta progress in the fact that I now know, uh, and the game knows that I know, that I've got these extra brands so I can start in these different stages of the game. If I do restart as Grey here, do I want to go back to Sif and start playing some of my Sif stuff? I think maybe yes. But let's see what happens. This is Grey's opening cutscene. I'll play long enough just to verify that we're restarting as Grey. And then I think I'll need to take a short break and review all of my notes and decide for sure if I want to continue some Sif stuff or what exactly it is that I want to do. Void Stranger Grey certainly seems like the very beginning. There are, there are as I've mentioned, uh, even things that I know I need to do with Grey, and one of them is right here. I think I might have misspoken as Louie in a prior episode. But there is an HP shard thingy, memory shard, fragments, right here. And now I know how to get there. Uh, and it involves changing the basement number in the HUD in order to teleport back here after I've already picked up Ad Scepter. Um, so, yeah. This definitely appears. What happens if I go into... I don't have um, burdens on this menu. And my memories still have... Oh! That is a new memory. I unlocked a new memory here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this one. That's Lily in her favorite Halloween costume. All right. That one featured prominently. This time she's all alone. There's no uh, Sonia next to her. And in fact, well, that's Gray and Lily. But all of these have focused on modern Lily, Lilith. And it's been a while since I've looked at them. 6795, and so we might even be able to estimate kind of like what year the game takes place in or something from that information. But there is this one new one that cost one. And so an option would be for me to play as gray just far enough for me to be able to travel back to basement one and get that memory shard. And you know what? I'm, I'm here right now, and I'm thinking of it, and I know how to do it. Um, so I'm going to do it. And then after that, we might cleanse ourselves and restart with a new brand or something. And does it matter if I have HP or Void or anything at this point? I don't think it does. I'm going to try to preserve my HP. No, I definitely I need to keep my HP because that's the only way that I can get the memory shards. Right. Uh, so that's question number one. Question number two, how many locust titles do I want? And ideally I want one, because I want to go back to basement one. So I'm going to get a single locust title here. Actually, what I'm going to do is verify if this works as gray. It does. I am not going to take those three locust titles. Okay, this is already really interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm going to get one locust idol over here. It will give me some insurance in case I make a mistake. It looks rather tasty. Who knows, maybe it'll come in handy in the long run, indeed. But I'm going to plan to use it in order to get places with things and stuff. Okay, you don't need to watch me go through the first N basements, so I will see you shortly as things get more interesting. Okay, I've made it to the place with the things and the stuff. It did not take long, because I know what I'm doing. So, what I want to do is... Pick up basement 28. Invalid or missing BR value, sure. 
put it down over here, pick up my 01 locusidals, and change the basement number to basement 01. And now I'm on basement 1, and I have picked up a HP fragment, whatever it's called. Memory shard, something something. And cashed it in. And so presumably, and this is the thing I do want to do with my next fragment, that means I can go into memories and purchase this one. So let's do it. <gasps> it's a picture of the two of them. Okay, Lily up front, Lilith in the back. And yeah, neat. Kind of like a post game kind of scene or something. Okay, uh, I still eventually do want to accumulate these other fragments. Did I actually pay for this one? I just not remember. I might have. I'll have to go back and look. Um, I don't remember how many I had spent, but in any case, I need another 16 and 12. That's 28. And it seems plausible that I might be able to find, although there were some of them that were secret. Um, there are many secrets in this game that we've yet to find, it would seem. So, having done that, now I think the thing I want to do... It seems like that type of progress is always saved. So... If I fall into the void now with Gray and give up, I think that means I can start like a new game and get another brand again, which is what I want to do at this point. Um, yeah. So if we fall into the void, you've fallen. There's a few things I just want to verify, and we can do that here on camera right now. Hello. Is this your first time here? Uh, I'll say no. Didn't recognize you. This, by the way, is Lev, so far as I can tell. Tell me, do you still wish to continue? What is your resolve? I wish to give up. That's all it took for you to give up. All right. The game closes itself. And now this is the original opening start screen. And so once again, I'll choose a language. Would you like to change the settings? No, the settings are fine. Are you ready? I'm gonna say yes. Engrave your brand, it does still remember all three. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, the game has saved my progress. And despite the fact that this means that this will be a shorter episode, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here um, and figure out there are loose ends in probably all three scenarios, Gray, Lily, and Sif, that I would like to tug at. Sif is freshest in my mind, so I'll probably go back to Sif. Um, but I just want to think through what all of my options are and decide what to play through next in the game and what I think my goals are, other than learning the rest of the bits of the story that I still haven't figured out. So I'll try to work that out before next time. I'm going to say, I hope as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Void Stranger. For now, bye-bye.